So in this video we're going to get a slightly different perspective on Santa Ponza than I normally would give in my videos because I'm in search of the Scotsman in Tenerife. Now you can see I'm on the far side of Santa Ponza Beach. Where am I going to find him? Over in the Jaggy Thistle. Kevin, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Fancy finding you in the Scottish pub today. I know, it's, it's very unusual, the jaggy thistle, but I'm just having a wee coat, no beers. Okay, right, so this is not your first time in Santa Ponza. You've already got some content about Santa Ponza on your channel. You're gonna have more videos about Santa Ponza coming up on your channel as well. Why have you come back down here? Well, I've come back down here because I used to come here with my friends when I was about 18, 19 year old. So it's a wee trip down memory lane and it's quite good for doing videos. I know the place quite well. I'll get about 10 videos done quickly in one day here. I'll go down the strip, down the beach, I'll show the hotel. So uh, it's nice to come back. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to head out of the pub now. We're going to head on into Santa Ponce. We're going to take a look around. I'm going to have a chat to Kevin about his trip here. So we've just been making a quick video for Kevin's channel. If you want to check out the video that Kevin's made from, about Santa Ponza, um, it's got loads of content coming out, but I know he's just uploaded the first video. Check out the link below. I'll put it somewhere up here as well so you can see what that's all about. So Kevin, we're coming down to the side of the beach here. We're going to take a walk down onto the beach. What do you think of Santa Ponza today? Um, weather, brilliant, 25 degrees. The beach is beautiful. It's not that busy, the beach. It's quite empty, isn't it, really? Yeah, I think we're the week after. We're filming this a week after half term in the UK, so I think quite a few families have gone home. It's yeah. not quite school holidays here. It's kind of like your last call, really, for a, a, a kind of a quieter holiday over here in Mallorca. But um, this is a pretty, I mean, check out the beach. I'm just going to turn the camera around here. And it's looking absolutely gorgeous today. Now, look, you can see we've got a whole flurry of sunbeds which have popped up here on Santa Ponza Beach. You may well have seen it in my last video. You've also heard me complaining as well about um, the amount of sunbeds that we do have on the beaches over here in Mallorca, particularly in my neighbourhood over in Cala Mayor. But you can see this side of the beach is virtually empty. And this is the far side. It's the, it's the west side. I think it's the west side of Santa Ponza Beach. If you're not wanting to rent, rent a sunbed, come down here. But anyway, we're going to head on down, down onto the walkway, just down here. Okay, Kevin, so um, tell me, when was the first time you first came to Santa Ponza? Well, that would have been when I was probably 18 or 17, Alex, so that would have been about 32 years ago. Oh, my goodness me. And does it look very different um, now than compared to 32 years ago? I've got to be honest, it doesn't look much different at all. Um, the strip's much the same. Some of the same bars that I was in are still there on the strip. Um, it's not changed that much, I don't think, Santa Ponza. Okay, and how are you finding as well, price-wise? I know you've just come down here um, from, from Magaluf this morning, actually. Yeah, I came from Magaluf from Palmanova. Um, I would say that the prices are pretty similar here. Obviously, some of the kind of tourist bars and restaurants will be a bit higher. Uh, Magaluf from Palmanova, You've got a mix of prices. You can get a beer from two two euros fifty. Late at night, you go in a bar. It could be four fifty, five euros. So it just depends when you go. Okay. Okay. Well, let's keep let's keep walking down now. As we're coming down through Santa Ponza here, on my right hand side, you're going to find a whole load of uh, of dining options. We've got we've got Fat Sam's right across the road, and these restaurants run all the way down to the big roundabout. You've got plenty of choice down here. Where's your favourite place to eat over here in Santa Ponza? Well, no doubt they'll probably end up in a Chinese or an Indian tonight, um, quite near the strip. I think I had a nice meal last time I was here. I might go for a steak, but there's quite a few nice steak houses down here. So I might have a steak. I'll make a decision on that later. Sounds like I'm here with the MacMaster. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, um, check out check out some of the MacMaster's com content that he also filmed over here in Santa Ponza. We went for curry, actually, which was uh, very, very nice. But they've got some great Chinese restaurants. And actually, they've got a really nice... Chinese a little bit further down here on the right hand side as well um, so got plenty of choice down here so we're just coming a bit further down through into Santa Ponza if you are coming here for the day um, well Kevin's just got the bus down from from Magaluf Palmanova way cost him about three euros on the bus but they do fill up pretty quickly but I really recommend getting the bus Kevin what's it been like getting the bus over here in Mallorca the bus has been pretty easy the bus today took just over half an hour um, just at the Katmandu Hotel in Magaluf to Santa Ponza and I got the bus from the airport 
uh, to Magaluf as well and that was really simple, just walk out, I've got a video on the channel showing you where to get the bus, but I find the buses here are quite good. Have they been really busy though? They have been pretty busy, yeah they've been, been pretty busy, uh, some of the buses. I'm going on a longer journey tomorrow on the bus, so we'll see how that is, but I've not had a problem getting on the buses, um, it's been, been okay. And can you, can you give us an insight as to where you're going next on the island? Tomorrow I'm going to Calabona or Calum Law. I've still not booked a hotel. I'm going to book the hotel today or tonight and then I'll go up to Alcudia for one day as well. And uh, we'll see after that. Fantastic. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we're just coming up to the first sunbed area here on Santa Ponza Beach. And it's pretty packed actually. I'm quite surprised you may well have seen in my last video. We can see the sunbeds go right the way up to this little beach bar here, to the Biwi Beach Bar. I think it's called, still called the Biwi. Okay, so Kevin, um, I don't know if it's just me, but the amount of sunbeds that are coming up to the walkway here, would you book a sunbed so close to the walkway? Because you can see from the beginning of the video that this beach is quite huge. Can yeah. you imagine during the hot summer months trying to get down to the water's edge? Yeah, you would get some hot feet, I think, going down there. So you want to be close to the sea. Yeah, you kind of want to be close to the sea. So, look, my advice is if you're coming down here, if you're coming over to Santa Ponta Beach, get here early, get one of the front-facing sunbeds down to the water. Unless, of course, you want to just get drinks from the bar all day, which, you know, some people might want to do. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, come on, let's keep going. Okay, so Kevin, tell me, um, whereabouts are you staying in Santa Ponza? I'm staying at the For You Miranda Hotel. Um, very nice wee hotel, just on a wee side street, just round the corner from the bus station. No complaints. No complaints. Okay, that's interesting because I do believe you've stayed in quite a lively hotel over in Magaluf. I did. What was that, what was that like? Did you sleep last night? I hardly slept a wink. To be fair, I did know what was going to happen. If you book a hotel next door to Mulligan's on the Magaluf Strip, and you know it's not going to be a sea view room facing another way, you have to expect everybody's going to be partying up and down the whole night. Uh, so if you're staying in a flamboyant Carib, you have to book a sea view without a doubt. Okay, that's some, that's some really good advice actually. And I imagine it, it, can be quite, um, it can be quite busy down here in Santa Ponta as well, depending on where you stay at as well. So um, yeah. yeah, I'm sure you're looking forward to a better night's sleep tonight, but of course Santa Ponza is really lively for the bars and everything. Where's your favourite pub over here in Santa Ponza? Well it has to be McTavish's because that's where I used to go every night when I was here with the boys on holiday. Um, some great live music in there and for all my Scottish viewers, if you go into McTavish's you'll see the football tops on the wall and there's quite a few St Mun tops there, the team I support Alex, and there's even one signed by people I know in McTavish's. So that's the favourite pub in Santa Ponza. Fantastic! So we're just coming up to, um, I'm not quite sure what is going on down here in Santa Ponza, but it looks like we've got the beginnings of a drinks fair. I can see loads of cans of beer on the bar. I can see loads of drinks. What's going on down here? I'm not even sure actually. I have to say too that often we get some random events and fiestas popping up all over the island and they never really advertise them till the last minute. But if you're coming down to Santa Ponza, in the course of June, where you may well find this beach bar popping up, maybe it's going to be a beer festival. I can see we've got um, some more barriers and stuff put up just a little bit further on. I can see there's a stage being put up as well. I'm pretty sure I'll be down here again soon to bring you an update, but it does look like we've got a major event happening here in this, uh, this grassy area behind the beach in Santa Ponza for the beginning to the middle of June. So, Kevin, I can see we've got some pedalos on the beach. It's the first time I've seen them down here for this year. The sunbeds as well, I've got a full price guide um, on the channel about um, sun, sunbeds and beach umbrella rentals over here in Magaluf, Palmanova and Santa Ponza. It's around 20 euros per day for those. How does that pricing compare to other places you've been, other beach resorts you've been? Quite expensive, I think. Most of the time when I'm doing videos in like Tenerife, sunbeds normally are about six euros. If you add on the brawly, it could be 12 euros. So I suppose if you're getting two, there's not much difference. And we're having a wee chat earlier, there's a couple of places that I've been to, one in Turkey and one in Corfu, where there's just a line of beach bars and all the sunbeds are free 
you just have to buy a drink. What? Are you joking? Yeah, they're all free. Free sunbirds. They're all free. <laughs> that is so not the case here. I think you need, I think for some places on the island as well, a, a, a sunbed or a beach umbrella rental is almost as much as the holiday. <laughs> Particularly down my way in Calamayor, if you're going to get the uh, premium uh, sunbeds, you yeah, can, you know, you, you, you're spending hundreds of euros wow. for the week. It's crazy. But anyway, all right, let's keep heading along the beach. So just to bring you a really quick update here from the Whaler Isabella Hotel, I've just dived off the beach to take a quick look. Do you know what? I think it's open. Let's just have a quick look down the side. So while we can see the hotel is now open, I can see that works haven't 100% finished and they're still going on on this far side here, on this far building. You remember in my last video actually that um, the the artist Joanne Aguillo was actually painting this, this very lovely mural which you can see on the side. But I can see some workmen on the top. Not quite sure what they're doing. But work hasn't 100% finished, but there's no banging and drilling, which is really good news. And I'd love to know, actually, if you are staying in this hotel, if you have stayed in this hotel, what's it like? Let me know in comments below. And check out the entranceway as well my goodness so as you know i've been coming up here um, for the past few months it's been full of skips building works drills and hammers and workers but um now finally we can see it's open it's going to take a quick peek just on the en entrance so i'm just showing you outside of the main recreation area here at the way that isabella to my right hand side i've got the swimming pool it looks very nice And to my left hand side here look we've got a pool table we've got um, a dining area as well i'm just going to show you the location too it's very open i have to say look and they've even got like a little lift as well going up to the swimming pool if you um, do have mobility issues too i can see a whole stack of brand new sunbeds as well just waiting to be put out but look i'll show you where we are So we've come out onto the main road here. You can see I'm to the right hand side of the, uh, the, Nepente, the Nepenta restaurant. And we're just off the main walk way here. We're just off the main road that runs through the resort and across the trees and then you're down on the beach. Okay, so we're going to go and make some content now for the Scotsman in Tenerife's YouTube channel. Um, this is just a taster. You're going to get a lot more content as well from over here on Kevin's channel as well. Of course, I'm going to be back here in Santa Ponta. I'll be making some more videos too. Don't forget to consider subscribing to both of us, actually. If you're, if you're subscribed to me, subscribe to Kevin as well. I'll, I'll drop the link below and above and, and wherever. So he's easy to find, but he's one of the top travel bloggers out at the moment. Got loads of great information particularly if you're traveling on the budget as well in Europe so those are top tips okay everyone thanks very much for watching find me on the Facebook group find me on Instagram also called me Orca under the sun Kevin pleasure filming with you today thanks very much Alex for having me on the channel great to see you again great to see you we shall see you on the next one goodbye for now